Hello and uh, welcome then to the video for this Renault Megane. This is the 1.9 DCI uh, turbo diesel, 130 brake horsepower, estate car, and it's the Dynamic, this one, so it's quite well spec'd up with air conditioning, uh, uh, auto lights on and auto wipers uh, in this metallic grey colour, and still looking pretty respectable actually on, on the 56 reg, but in fact this one's a 2007. Both front fog lights work, nice and straight and tidy on both sides. Minor scrape on one of the real arches that I'll show you in a minute. Just put this through the MOT and spent about 180 quid on a couple of front tyres, um, uh, a tow, uh, a bore joint um, on the driver's side front, and um, I think that's about it really. A clean, and uh, yeah, that's about it really. And the MOT obviously itself. So it's pretty tidy, it's got the rear wash wiper, high level brake light, all that works fine. It's got the uh, roof bars as well, it's got alloy wheels with locking wheel nuts. Just one key with it I'm afraid, just one card key. There's the little bit of damage just to the wheel arch. In fact it's just a scuff, it's nothing more than a scuff. Diesel fuel, turbo diesel, 130 brakes, 6 speed at this one as well. So it's got the 6 speed manual gearbox. That was the main dealer part exchange this one. We snapped it up at a sale. Uh, there is history as well, which you will have seen, or you will see a bit later in the video. So there's brand new Continental 205 55 R16 on that one. Sorry they don't match, but this is a Bridgestone Taranza on that side. Both on the front, they're nice and new, brand new. This one here is probably about 10% worn, so it's not far off brand new itself. And this other one here, again about 10% worn, no budgets on the back, but there's plenty of tread to go on there. Um, electronic boot release, from it locking, baggage covers in there as well, steel spare, and the tow kit's in there. There you go. Light in the boot here. Baggage cover. Three headrests in the back. Three inertia reel safety belts as well for passenger safety. All that closes okay. Blinds in the back as well to be able to uh, shield your young ones. Let's go and have a look at the history in a minute. 2007 car with a 56 plate on the front. Uh, there's a nice big service here uh, at Formula One Auto Centres in Oxford. Uh, done at 129,000 miles, 642 quid, which was an injector, some glow plugs, and the labour and the fuel filter. Uh, we've got some old MOTs and such like. Uh, a service book with all the owner's manuals in the glove compartment. I'm afraid there is just one key with the car. It's a two-part key. It has a, a card and a, a key itself. But the services here go 12,000, 23,000, 36, 47, 60, 78. And the, uh, I think the cam belt was done at 70 or so, 76. 90,000 miles and 101 in 2012, late 2012, in Didcot. Uh, the radio code is here as well as the radio code there. Yep, and there's the radio code. And I've just spent about the uh, best part of 180 quid on it doing it through its MOT, which was two tyres and a, uh, a, an MOT and a track rod end. And there we are, there's the MOT until March the 8th, 2016. A few advisories, which were... The passenger side mirror is slightly damaged, but it still works perfectly all right. You can still see cars in the rear of it. Offside rear position lamp sensor, uh, lamp slightly affected by the operation of another lamp. Yeah, there's a minor voltage drop as the indicator goes on. It's very minor indeed. Uh, offside front suspension arm, a slight play in the joint and near side inner front track rod end ball joint has slight play. But I was there during the MOT and the car actually looked all pretty good to be fair. The underside was in good order. And I've driven it about 30 miles and it all drives very well. So it's just a few receipts, that's the track rod end. Uh, the cam belt was done. Let's have a look. I've got a receipt for that somewhere. Um, there it is, isn't it? There? No, that's the receipt for the uh, MOT. Oh God, how tedious! There's the cam belt's been done in 2010, and there's a receipt for it here somewhere, which is I don't know where it's gone, but it is with it. 76,000 miles or so. So. On a precautionary note, you might want to get it done at about 150 or so. Okay, but it is here. I have seen it. I just don't want to faff about too much more. Back to the car then. Okay then, so in the back here, seats aren't in too bad condition, but 
you've got to remember this is a uh, what, 3 plus 5, 3 plus 4, 7, between 7 and 8 year old car now. Headlining's got a few marks on it, that's probably hoover out. Uh, and a little bit of discoloration, but uh, nothing too bad. Pockets in the back of the seats. Electric mirrors, electric windows all round. Hydro adjustable driver's seat. Driver seat's not in bad nick, really, for the 137 that this is showing. So, centre armrest, nice and clean. Handbrake holds well. All the books and owners' manuals are there, along with that history section. And the locking wheel nuts. Radio codes present as well. Fingertip control hi fi. So, basically, you pop the card in the ignition there in the slot, press the uh, um, brake down, and press the start button, and she starts up. It's just saying replace the battery in the car dash, that's probably why the remote's a bit sensitive, but uh, on its way out. Does the aircon work? I probably wouldn't have thought so. Sometimes with a little bit of gas in there, gets it going, but uh, often enough, they've got hold and they uh, basically don't work. Mirrors in the sun visors, I think both sides, yep. Yeah. Uh, washers, wipers all work fine as they should. Power steering, clutch feels good actually, it's not a bad clutch at all. It's had an injector on it as well, rear wiper works as well, there you see it on the back. Radio works fine, good sound system. Nine times out of ten, the aircon won't work on a car of this sort of age, but uh, if, it, if it, a little bit of gas is just put in, sometimes that uh, does the job. It's idling over nicely. Engine, while well, you know, 137,000 miles, who knows how long it's going to go on for, but uh, might be lucky, you might get one that goes on for another five or six years. See how it goes. Anyway, there we are. I'll leave you with that shot. Thanks for watching, and... Give me a call. The car's going to go into storage now, so uh, it's a by appointment only. And um, I need to know that you're pretty serious about it. If that's okay. Thank you.